Take a step outside and seize the day now. Set aside. Hello everybody and welcome back to Jade's Crafty Life. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel and dropping a like on this video and joining the Crafty Clan. Now, today I'm back with a, another colouring book video because I realised that I did a um, my colouring book collection video and have ordered about 50 million more books since then so this is an update already on some more coloring books that I have bought across the month of April and May so as you can see to begin with the first book that I ordered was Gothic Fantasy by Selena Fennec now this one the first book that I ordered of this one came and the corners of it was all scuffed the packaging wasn't very well so I had to have a replacement sent out because like literally all the corners of the pages was all scuffed away which was horrible so it's finally arrived the replacement and this was the first ever book I have had of Selena Fennec I don't know if I'm saying that right so I'm sorry if I'm not but this is the first book I've had of her um, collection and artwork and stuff and I do actually really really like the style of her designs and her artwork it's really pretty um, this one is obviously based on gothic fantasy and the designs inside are really really nice I don't think I've started on any if I have it would have just be like yeah the un the unicorn i just started just to see what the paper was like um and it is really good quality and it's one-sided paper as you can see um and the designs are really like mystical and um like vampires and dragons and stuff like that so i do really like her designs and super pretty if you do want me to do a flip through of the book comment below and i will see what i can do but this is one of the books that has come in april um, the next book that I have to show you, these are all joining my colouring book collection so um, I think I'm going to need to order like a second trolley because it's full. This is another Selena Fennec colouring book and as you can see it's called Fairy Tales and it actually looks like Sleeping Beauty on the front and that's why I liked it. I love stuff to do with fairy tales or like adaptions of fairy tales um, and that's what this book is all about. Um, so again, it's filled with like mystical fairy tale kind of uh, images and it is pretty, pretty cute. There's like stories on the back of each page as well to tell you kind of what fairy tale that that image is all about or adapted from. So we've got like Goldilocks and the Three Bears, Snow White, which is obviously the front cover, uh, Wild Swans, which I haven't actually heard of, Goose Girl, I haven't heard of that either. Um, Thumbelina on a lily pad which is cute. I can't wait to start um, having a go at colouring these as well. Um, the pages feel really good quality and the images look like they're going to be really nice to colour so I may move on to one of these books next after my current whip. At the minute I am doing one of the pages in Metamorphia so it's probably going to take me a while first. Moving on another Selena Fennec book so obviously when I discovered well I discovered her books a while ago but I never actually ordered one of her books because I had quite a lot already on my wish list that I wanted to get before um but since I ordered the first one and I really liked it I did actually order a couple more um this one and the fairy tales book actually has a really nice cover on it it feels really smooth um it's kind of that really like you can probably hear it it's like a matte soft cover which I absolutely love I love that kind of feel like for my business that I run my business cards are actually really soft feeling ones because I just love it so much um so that's a really nice touch that actually won me over on her books as well it isn't on the first book which was the gothic fantasy that's just kind of like the normal glossy cover but these two have it so I'm not sure on the difference and um, that gothic fantasy is also a bit of a bigger book than these two so maybe it's just from a different like edition I'm not sure but this one again has some really nice designs in it she does a lot of like gothic and fantasy and fairy tales kind of themes so again these have got like words on the pages behind or, or next to the image that you're colouring so it naming the image so that says fairy night and like night flyers 
puppy protector i really like it when they do give their artwork a name as well because when you have colored it and want to post it on social media you can actually say the name of the page that you've colored um, and others will recognize it from there because sometimes i just struggle and just say oh this is a page from this and this book but when they've got actual names it really helps this one i'm not sure about i ordered it because i I want to practice colouring obviously skin colours and skin like light on skin and the different features like the lips and eyes and stuff because I haven't had much practice with that and I don't feel like I'm very good at it. So I saw this book on Amazon, Realistic Portraits, it's a grayscale colouring book and it's by Christine Karim. Um, but when I did start colouring it inside I found that the images aren't what I thought they were going to be. Obviously, that's my fault, not the artist's fault, because this is her style of book. She does, like, the images are kind of like they've been painted watercolour. So I struggled when I tried to colour in pencil the images because, obviously, they're kind of watercolour images and they don't have the kind of look that I'm used to, which is fine. And I may get better at it in the future. I just need to practice. But, like, on the back here, it shows you all the images that's... It co contained in the book and they're all grayscale um, which obviously does help with shading and stuff but as you can see like the backgrounds on them and some of their hair and stuff it's got like strange textures because they've been done I think with like watercolour paint or something similar so I've really struggled it's not really like what I thought it was going to be like um, so here's some of the images inside so just to portray what I mean like I guess like I'd be fine probably colouring the face in but some of the backgrounds um has like watercolour splatters and stuff which I just were, really wanted to practice colouring in just a face normal face image if you know what I mean I don't know how to explain it very well but there's like a lot of watercolour I feel like in this hair and stuff I would struggle with that and struggle with um where to place like light and shadow and stuff like that like this is one i had a go out i've half colored it in obviously her skin color um is very like yellow at the minute because i haven't finished it but i've really struggled with it so i i didn't carry on but i'll probably come back to it in the future and have a go at it maybe it's just the style but it wasn't really what i was looking for at the time so like I really want to find, if anyone knows of a book that does have realistic portraits where they're not kind of watercolour, where I can just practice doing like faces and um, features and stuff because I'm not very good at them. Obviously this is another book to the colouring collection because it's a monthly subscription and this month we got a fairies um, special which is obviously filled with fairies and it's beautiful. The fairy designs are by Janet Prosperina and it's another book full of fairies so i've had a lot of like mystical fairies and dragons um coloring books come this month and last month which is awesome again it follows the same style as all of the coloring heaven coloring books um they have the name on there the number of the page and they're all one-sided which helps I'm going to do a flip through of this book as a separate video so if you're interested in seeing what each of the pages look like in this book then I'll put a link to that video in the description below and you can check it out but that's going to be a new video um, and I'm going to try and do that every month so you can stop in, take a peek at what images are in the book and then see if you want to pick up this book or not because you can get them in um, normal retail stores. Now this collection of books I have absolutely fell in love with and you've probably seen me posting all about it all over Instagram. I've been talking about it everywhere because I got one of the books, looked through it, coloured one of the pages in and then ordered about 10 of them. There is a lot of books in the collection. These are by Tanya Bogemer. Sorry if that's wrong again. But she does a lot of these nice little town books and they're numbered. Um, I think there's about 12 in the collection. There's probably more than that actually because she does like other editions like Atlantic and Christmas and stuff like that. So I haven't got all of them yet. I have coloured some of the pages in them and had page finishes which I've posted on my Instagram. Which I will again post in the description down below if you would like to give me a follow. Or just check out the images that I have coloured in. But 
I um, will most definitely be collecting all of these. I absolutely adore the tiny little mouses that are in the images and the like the settings and the themes and what they're actually doing like their activities and the pages and stuff and it's just I didn't think I was gonna like it to be honest and I really really have so if you do want to see a flip through of these coloring books let me know and I'll do a flip through of the ones that I have so far and show you now at the back she does have a lot of pages that are all from her other coloring books that she does in case you wanted to check them out or if, if you see something that you like you can go and buy that book um, and she does an Easter one as well and a Christmas one um, this is nice little town number four this is the earliest one I have I don't have three two and one but the images I all of them have this black on the back of the page as well which helps with bleed through of felt tip pens and paint and stuff like that it doesn't completely stop it but it helps so make sure you still put a blotting page behind your page but it does definitely help um, I have made a mistake on one of mine actually and I didn't put a page behind which is a massive booby on my part and I should have done and the black transferred onto the next page which I am very sad about because I really wanted to do that page that it transferred on so I'm going to give it a go still see if I can cover it up with the colouring but if not I ruined it. So I'll just do a quick flip through of some of the images but if you do want to see a proper flip through let me know. Like I just think it's really cute obviously this is the page that's on the front cover but it's such little cute scenario it's like little mouse coming to get a juice probably talking to the lady there it's like a little mouse shop and it, it's just got some really nice additions so it's all kind of themed as in like living in the countryside living in these little houses which reminds me of like hobbits on lord of the rings that's probably why i like it as well and they've all got like these really nice flowers um they're all different like a little mouse there shaking out a rug giving it a good shake and then the guy there sat reading his newspaper i just absolutely love it I really like this page as well you can it's all sectioned off each room in their little house and they've got cherries hanging up to dry i just love it so so much this mouse is fishing in the little jar i don't know what that is like wiggly worms i don't know what they are they're super cute though this little mouse is sewing i really really am a fan of these and I know that I'm going to be doing a lot of the pages in these books so expect to see it everywhere all over my social media at the minute because I have been obsessed with them. I have to admit there is a lot of pages though that are advertised in her other books like these. This is the end of the book and then this is the start of like advertising all of her next books. So there is quite a lot of pages that you think it's like oh a chunky book and it, a lot of it is filled with the advertising other pages but you still get a good amount in the book. I really like these funny images as well, like this mouse here, some baby and there's like a little ladybird there, they're like whispering to each other, I just really, I really find them funny. But yeah, that's a nice little town number five, and then I've got number six, which you've probably seen me colour those in on Instagram, um, I have started. I've done a couple of pages in these. I will do a video of all my finishes as well at some point, but I'm trying to get a few more finishes in so that I can make the video actually have a bit of content because a lot of the time I start an image and don't finish it. So I need to get some more finishes in to give you a bit of content in the video because it won't be very long otherwise. Um, I'm going to try and do monthly updates as well. So I've started putting like sticky notes on the pages that I finished for the month so that I can do like at the end of the month what finishes I've done for April, May, blah, blah, blah. Nice little town number seven. This one, as you can see, I've put a sticky note in. Oh, I don't, you can't see it. I've put a sticky note in to say that I finished it in May. So when I do the update video, I'll know what month I did it in. This one's different to some of the others. So some of the books have like light grey lines for the artwork and some of them have black but I like it on both so um what I want what I've started trying to do is have a go at the whiting the lines of the images so I've seen a lot of people do that and I think it looks really nice so I've started having a go at um using that white gel pen to go around the lines of the artwork after I've coloured it in so with the lines being grey it actually really helps for it not to come through because obviously when it's black it, it'll probably be more likely to come shine through 
but these grey images help with that a lot. Um, this is obviously the page that I transferred the black marks onto, which I'm really sad about. You probably can't see it very well on camera. You can see like where I colored in the leaves on the other page and it's transferred over. But I might be able to like rub it out or colour over it, we'll see. This is the page that I finished, this is an absolute mess on this side. I don't know if anybody else gets this problem, but whenever I kept going to use the white gel pen, it wouldn't write straight away and it keeps like... It's been a bit strange, I think I need to just look into it a bit more. But this is the finished page, there's bits I like about it, bits I don't like about it. I'll talk about it in another video probably, but I still love it nonetheless. Well, yeah there's a lot of cute images i might do a flip through one of these videos uh, one of these books so please let me know nice little town number 10 this is one of the newest ones i've had come in the post so i don't think i've done anything in this one either but again this one looks got black lines as opposed to the gray ones and i actually like them either way i used to think that oh i'm not gonna like the gray lines i prefer the big bold black lines but i do actually really like them now my most favourite book that I've had and this only arrived yesterday I am super super excited about it I don't have um, any of Hannah Carson's other books like this so this is brand new to me it is completely hardback so it's very good quality and I just love this book so so much after I flipped through it I cannot wait to start it I see a lot of people with these kind of books and I am going to be getting more I love this, the style of the gold foiling on the front it's just a super super good quality if you're looking for a colouring book that you want to last kind of forever I guess you're going to be wanting one of these kinds the binding is um, very good quality it's thick it just feels like an absolutely amazing quality book I don't feel like the pages are going to be like um, falling everywhere or bending or so or like sometimes in the colouring books the pages all be like lumped over or creased from colouring other pages but this one feels just amazing quality and I'm going to look after it a lot because I would want it to last a long time the images inside as well it's done on not quite white paper it's kind of like a creamy colour which is also a nice addition because then you can also when you want to add white to an image you'll be able to see when you've added the white as opposed to doing it on white paper you won't really see it very well but on cream you can see it super well i'm really looking forward to doing some of these these are all in um black outline artwork and this one is called the jewelry box so there's a lot of images like this with like jewels and bottles um and jewelry and stuff so i really wanted this one as the first one because they've been wanting to have a go at coloring some diamonds and stuff and this one has a lot of them so i'm looking forward to that but this marks the end of my updated colouring book collection. If there is any of these books that you have seen me flip through and you would like me to do a full video doing a proper flip through of the colouring book, please let me know. Comment down below or DM me on Instagram, anything that you like, and I will sort it out for a future video for you. But thank you very much for sticking with me through this video and if you did like what you saw please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell to see future videos. Well you'll be updated on future videos and hit that like button if you like what you saw. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.